This video will demonstrate how to set up and use the USB pass-through feature on a Neat device. I have my Neat bar here, and to get set up, we just flip it over and have a look at the back. You can see the ports on the back of my Neat bar. I've got a HDMI cable going out to the main front of room display, and I've got a power cable at the moment. There's a second HDMI output here if I had a dual screen room for my Neat bar. The third HDMI port is HDMI in, and that's for content sharing or in content ingest. So we'll connect a cable to that. And we also need a USB-C cable to connect to the USB-C port. As far as physical connections are concerned, that's it. That's all you need to enable USB pass-through. On the neat pad, there is a setting in system settings. It's simply a toggle switch to enable the USB pass-through feature. I'll get this mounted on my screen and continue from there. I've got my neat bar mounted back on top of my monitor. So by simply connecting those two cables to the back of my neat bar and enabling USB pass-through mode via the system settings on the neat pad, I'm ready to go. I can walk into my native Microsoft Teams room or native Zoom room, uh, bring my laptop and connect to a third party meeting providers meeting. Uh, that could be WebEx, BlueJeans, Google Meet, in this case, I'm using Google Meet as my example. I'm going to connect the USB-C cable. It doesn't matter which order you do. You just have to connect the two cables. But I'll show you the message I get on the screen. So my NIT device enters USB pass-through mode, and I get a message saying to connect my HDMI cable. So let's connect the second cable to my laptop. And that will simply present the display from my laptop up onto the front of room display for my NIT room. So let's start a new meeting with Google Meet here. And this would be the same if I'd been invited to a, a different meeting, I'd just start it from my calendar like you normally would on your laptop. However, you get to utilize all the smarts of my NIT device. Let's have a look at settings here. So under audio, you can see the microphone and speakers are set to the NIT bar and same as video and you're getting the image from the camera from my neat bar. Let's make this full screen to make it a more uh, authentic experience. Here we go, full screen. Okay, so I'm in my Google Meet meeting utilizing my neat bar. On my neat pad, I have group or individual framing. At the moment, I've got individuals. So let's take a look at the smarts that are built into the hardware of my Neat Bar. So this is not dependent on Google Meet. This is a feature that a Google Meet meeting would never actually see normally, but because we're using a Neat Room, we can have a look at our symmetry feature. If I come and stand up here next to my Neat Board, you can see the auto framing works to start with, and then the symmetry will pick up my two friends here in the room. There we go. So utilizing the symmetry feature in a Google Meet meeting via USB pass-through, and it's really that easy. Uh, that works for any other meeting that you can start on your laptop.